All right, so we're doing some cheek piercings today. Um, here we can see my marks I've already marked. So um, I don't like to go any farther back than this. Smile for me real quick. Any farther back than that, I find that people tend to have way problems healing. Um, so the reason why I tend to have good luck with these guys, I think, is because of my placement and a couple other things. Um, I'll be using 12-gauge jewelry, which definitely helps. Anything thinner than that can definitely be problematic. Here we have the other side. There we go. You can see. Lined up. All righty. Yep. All right. So turn your head a little towards me. Open for me. All right, guys, so um, I, I do freehand these. The way that I do it is uh, I do bevel, so bevel technically facing them towards the teeth, so the flat side towards me, open wider. And I'm just gonna line myself up, and to find out where I'm gonna go, I just kind of push so I can feel where the needle is on the back side. So we're good to go here. Let's do a deep breath in, Guru. Let it out, and there we go. Piercing's done. Now we do the jewelry transfer. Just stay nice and so for me. Turn towards me. If it wants to screw on, it's shy and knows it's on film. Are you doing okay, dear? Mm-hmm. Close for me. All right, so we're done with number one. Okay, open your jaw for me. Turn towards me a little bit. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Let's just feel. Okay, big deep breath in. Let it out. And that's it. Just gonna screw the ball on. Close. All right, and we are done. All right, you can stop that for right now. All right, so here we have the finished product, and even in this time, you can see we've already started to puff up a little bit. I use 12 gauge three quarter bars with 5 30 seconds beads. Anything smaller on the beads, and I think it'll be problematic for healing. There you go. And that's how we like to do cheeks.